I think what I kind of try to remind girls is that isn't reality. Exactly. I'm a real human that's real and I have zits and I, <laughs> you know, whatever, sorry. <laughs> My hey Miley, How are you? how's it going? Good. Good. All right. So tell us why this campaign felt like a natural fit for you. I think something that Mac has always made really important to them and um, is is people able to be different. And I think I was talking to everyone at Mac today actually. Is I think some of kids' first experiences of seeing people that are look unlike themselves and and that are really free or maybe seeing them in Mac stores, you know, mm -hmm. and guys and girls getting to wear all this cool looks and cool makeup and just being really free and free to be who you are. Um, and then also obviously the cause of, of um, kind of directing people to start a conversation about, you know, HIV and, and those already affected, but also prevention for a lot of, you know, my younger fans being able to kind of start that conversation earlier um, than usually happens. Cause I think there's this kind of, um, awkwardness of where people kind of feel guilty they don't know how to talk about sex and they don't know how to ask questions and I think if there's someone out there that's like me that's really open to talk about sexuality uh, of being able to kind of start that conversation I think it's really important yeah it was a perfect match I think yeah um, in terms of the lipstick and the lip gloss how did you come up with the shade was there the lip gloss was the one that I was really obsessed with because I wanted it to feel like a liquid disco ball <laughs> but that was hot pink like in hot pink lava disco ball <laughs> melting situation and then the lip um, I wanted it to come in, you know, something that my older fans can kind of wear. It's, it's like also mature and you can go out or it doesn't, it's not, you know, too crazy. But if you're, if you're going, if you're going to work, you wear the lipstick. If you go into the club, you put on the, the grouse. You know what I mean? You <laughs> exactly. got like day and night. You got part one, part two. Love that. Um, yeah. So you get it, you get to have fun. And then also for my younger fans, the gloss on its own is really, really nice too. Yeah. It's not too much. It's not too pink. It's just sparkly. And that's obviously queen, queen of sparkles. I'm, yeah, I exactly. Make, I You've got it going on. Yeah. <laughs> So obviously growing up in the spotlight, uh, what beauty advice would you give yourself as a 16 year old now? Oh my goodness, I think what I'd give to even 16 year olds today, which is like, like I said, life is more chill. I think when you're younger, you try to make yourself look older and yeah. everyone tries to tell you, you're gonna regret it as you get older. And then I wear, I think less, makeup now as yep. 22 than I did maybe when I was 15 or 16. I saw an Instagram picture that you posted of your, you myself you back in the day and, and now like this is me then and this is me now. Yeah, And I more. literally wear less. I wear, I had extensions and was like always feeling I had to be in high heels and my makeup done. And that's what I warn girls about Instagram now is a lot of girls are chasing girls that don't exist. They're like chasing reality that isn't real because people get a fine tune and they always have their, you know, going out as like a fashion show and that's just not reality. And I think what I kind of try to remind girls is that isn't reality. Exactly. I'm a real human that's real and I have zits and I, <laughs> you know, whatever, sorry. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, there's all kinds, people are humans and, and people forget that even the people on Instagram are human and they're, they're not all what they seem to be through a picture, you know. On a personal note, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Because it, it really is refreshing. It's nice when you look at, when you, honestly, sometimes when you look at Instagram or Twitter and you see girls, you're like, why don't I look that way? Or you see people that are 15 so that look airbrushed. prettier, like, and done than you. And you're like, you know, it feels so crazy. And what people have made, it's always been this way, especially for girls. I think of the formula of what's supposed to be pretty and what a woman is supposed mm -hmm. to be has always been something that I think that I accepted more when I was younger and now that I'm older I'm like forget that yeah. like I don't want to be like that exactly yeah. you have so many lovely women in your life your mom your sisters Dolly Parton for instance what's the best piece of beauty advice any of them have ever told you you know my mom has always been really cool like even now I mean I've always been able to kind of be free with the way I look and yeah. I think that was what my mom always let me do my mom never looked like a typical mom and even some moms, the, the pressure never ends for women. It, yeah. it, it, as you get older, the pressure does, it continues to happen. And it's like, oh, other mom was judging me for not looking like other moms. And my mom's never cared. My mom's got tattoos, long blonde hair, and is who she is, and like loves rock and roll music, and is also an awesome mom, you know? So and I think she's, she's always, hot. Yeah, she's like, who cares? Like, don't judge anyone, just be free. Yeah, and she's hot. And <laughs> be who you want. And she's never trying to make me like be in a box, I think. I Dolly, too. Dolly's like, don't let what's on the outside don't let that control what people think about you on the inside. Let your insides always stand out brighter than whatever you got going on. Well, thank you so much. Thank this you. was such a refreshing interview nice. to talk to you about uh, and, and hear Life. your perspective. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. beauty's so subjective, you know. Yeah. Like, 
it's hard for put on my lip women. gloss and you'll yeah, look, you'll look great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is something I wanted to tell you that um, Pop Sugar, you're one of our favorite Instagram accounts to follow. Oh, thank you. So um, I was inspired by one of your Instagrams, your kitschy little oh, hair yeah? band. So I might have DIY'd a little. Oh my band God, for it's you. really awesome. Um, I wanted to include pizza If you really and sat here and did this, that's pretty I next totally level. I totally hot glued that this morning. How fun is it? It's amazing. The hot glue gun is like it's. It's changing my life. It's like crack. <laughs> Like all of a sudden you'll be up at night in the morning and you're just gonna be and there's glitter glue now. Yeah. So it's a whole thing. Thank and then you a little confetti much. pop and Thank you a friendship very much. bracelet. Thank so, you so much. Of course, of Thank course. You. Thank you cool. for meeting with me today. I like the DIY. Oh I know. I I tried my best. That's fun. I, like, I gotta get kitschy with it. No, that's fun.